Hi there, theater addicts. This is Brianna, and I will be reviewing Field Zoology for you this evening by Sean O'Hara at the review stage. I'm really looking forward to tonight's performance as Sean O'Hara showed up last night at the Fringe for All as the dashing Brad Gooseberry and impressed us with his knowledge of field zoology. Looking forward to finding out a little bit more about uh, that particular topic this evening. And uh, this will be my first time at the review stage as well, so looking forward to uh, seeing that venue. I'm running a little late now, so I'll sign off and I'll see you after. Hi there, theater addicts. This is Brianna, and I just finished watching Field Zoology by Sean O'Hara at the review stage. Uh, I, uh, I actually missed it the first time. You'll notice in my, my preview video that uh, my hair's a little different and it's uh, earlier in the day. I had troubles finding the stage, so I wanted to start off by showing you where it is. Uh, we are just across from the... Um, the backstage lounge here so the uh, the the venue is just next to me so I wanted to just make sure that you don't miss the performance like I did but uh, luckily I managed to get in and uh, have a chance to see it my expectations of this show was bang on what it turned out to be. Imagine if Ron Burgundy from Anchorman did stand-up comedy about animals. This is the show that he would have produced. So um, if you like deadpan humor, you absolutely must come see this. He does not break into a smile once, no matter what he says or does. You'll enjoy a little bit at the end where uh, you are invited as audience members when you first come in to write down some uh, animal related questions and uh, O'Hara will be um, entertaining you by responding to those questions in character and uh, teaching you a little bit about uh, some of the lesser known facts about animals. The show was hysterical. My sides honestly hurt from laughing the whole time. Everything from a chuckle to a guffaw to an LOL. There's even a couple great groan moments. Um, O'Hara manages to throw in a couple of political jokes, actually taking a couple stabs at uh, um, uh, communism, at capitalism, at global warming, uh, although we're not quite sure what side of those issues he's on, he uh, certainly managed to make us laugh. The review stage was an excellent venue for field zoology. It's actually set up like a, uh, a lecture style, so um, our character is standing in front of us giving us a lecture on the topic, and uh, the stage is set up kind of like that. There's a, there's a great stage, he actually puts a, uh, a projector on stage with him which uh, I heard many of the audience members mention that uh, they hadn't seen since high school or earlier. So uh, that was uh, kind of interesting to watch and he definitely uses it the whole time. And as audience members, we are his students uh, at uh, his every whim. I would say that this is probably the most lighthearted and comedic show that I've been to see at Fringe this year. I really enjoyed it. I think that, uh, as I said, if you like deadpan humor, um, if you want to be entertained and learn a little bit uh, about um, any number of animal factoids that you might not have known before, you can uh, check out Field Zoology. Uh, this was Brianna reviewing for you. Uh, thank you so much, Theater Addicts, for tuning in. As always, please sign up with our Facebook page and our YouTube channel so you can watch all 99 reviews of Fringe before you come and check out your shows. Please, please, please leave your thoughts and comments. I'd love to hear what, uh, what you thought about this show, and uh, we'll see you in the next review.